Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop. You can use this to create almost any color effect or image adjustment you want, and that is the Curves tool. So once you have your image that you want to work on, you can find this tool under Image, Adjustments, Curves. But instead of applying the adjustment directly onto the layer, I always like to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then select the adjustment. And then hit OK. So this creates a Curves Adjustment Layer over the whole project rather than just applying the adjustment onto one layer because this way you can go back and edit it. So when you open up or, or create the new adjustment layer, the Curves property box will open up. And what you see here is a, a grid with the images histogram here. So these are all the shadows in the photo, which you can see there's not many, but there's a few sharp shadows like the seeds and then there's the mid-tones and then there's the highlights. Just to show you what it looks like on some different photos, on this dark photo you can see that the histogram is mostly all shadows. It's all filled up and barely any highlights. But when you do get the highlights there's that sharp spike where you get the neon signs. And then in this daytime photo you see that it's mostly in the highlights. So you can see what the different histogram for different photos look like. It's just a way for you to be able, it's just Photoshop describing the photo to you in a graph. So if we head back to our original layer here, the easiest way to think about the curves tool is inputs and outputs. So Photoshop is going to input in a certain color or shade and you're going to tell it what to put out. So here is your input. It goes all the way from black to white. And then here is your output. It goes all the way from black to white. So again, you have the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So if I take this point on the graph and I click and add a point to my line, I can push or pull the the line to curve in either direction. So you notice when I'm pushing the line up the photo is becoming brighter and when I'm pushing the line down the photo is becoming darker. This is because you see when the line is straight I'm telling Photoshop everything at this point here this mid gray you're going to go up to your line and it's going to come out as this point. So at a straight line, that's perfectly gray. But if I take this and drag it down, I'm telling Photoshop that everything that goes in as this midpoint gray, I want you to output it as this darker gray. So everything, this shade is going to come out looking like this. So. Uh, through the entire curve of the line that's going to darken the entire image. But where this becomes powerful is you can add multiple points to the line. So for example, I can take everything at this point, darken the darks a little bit, so I can take everything that's oops, everything that's this level of gray go out to my line, drag it down, it's going to come out darker and then I can take everything at these highlight regions so everything that's at this amount of input this shade right here is going to come out a little bit brighter so you see when there's a slight curve in the graph it adds some contrast to your photo if you ever want to delete a point you can just click and drag it off so just think of it like that. Whenever you're working with it, if I click and drag this point up, I'm telling Photoshop that everything here that's jet black in my original photo, I want you to only be able to use this. You're only going to output 
from this shade upwards. Or for example, if I take the highlights, everything that's solid white, the brightest highlight you can get in the photo, and I drag it down, I'm telling Photoshop that you can only display it as this amount of colors. So hopefully you get, your, you get a, an idea of what I mean. But where this can get really powerful is if you click here on this drop down menu, not only can you adjust the entire contrast of the image, you can adjust individual color channels. So if I head over to red, I can adjust the red color channel the green color channel or the blue. So you know every color is a combination of red, green, blue when you're working in red, green, blue. For example, we have blue here. I'm working on the blue color channel. So if I take the highlights and I suck all the blues out of them by dragging it down, you notice that it's going to turn yellow because what's the opposite of blue on the color wheel is yellow. Or if I take all the all the shadows here and draw the the yellow out of them it's going to come out blue so you see this is how you get all those vintage looking color effects is they adjust the color channels separately so they pull some blues into the shadows and pull some blues out of the highlights and then where that gets really powerful is you can fine tune all of these I can I can then adjust the greens I can pull some greens into the shadows or what's the opposite of green is is that purple color I can add some greens into the highlights so you see and then once you're done adjusting each individual color channel how you like, you can go to the entire red, green, blue channel, and then you can even add some contrast into that color adjustment. And maybe take the blacks and make them gray. So you see from my original photo to the color adjustment, I've added this lively kind of vintage looking color effect and you can uh, change the entire mood and uh, tone of a color of an image so those are the very basics of getting started with the curves tool hopefully you understand the idea of Photoshop gets its input from the photo you tweak the line and it tells Photoshop what to put out or what to display and if you just imagine tweaking each different color channel separately you can pretty much get any color effect you want. So just to show you really quickly some quick tips and tricks with the curves tool one thing I like to do is if you just take the shadows on the red green blue color mode and drag them up a little bit quick way to give you that washed out vintage feel and then you can go ahead and combine it with with other colors another thing you can do is if you just take the line and create a point on the shadows, drag them down to darken them, create a point on the highlights and drag them up to highlight them. Quick way to increase the contrast. So any variation of this S curve you can use to increase the contrast. Another thing you can do if you go to the blue color channel and you drag the highlights down it's going to take draw the blues out of the highlights and then you drag the shadows upwards it's going to draw the blues into the shadows you get that super easy vintage feel that a lot of people look to recreate and you can tweak it however you like another thing you can do if you drag either point on the highlights or the shadows in it will clip the shadows and highlights so that you get that brighter contrast as well get a little bit more stark highlight or shadow and then of course you can use all these in combination with one another to create that perfect color adjustment that you want so hopefully I didn't get you lost or lose you on the way here and hopefully you picked up how to use the curves tool 
one or two things and uh, you can see the potential of this tool. I appreciate you watching. My voice is a little bit off getting over a sickness but I'm sure it's uh, it sounded cool and there was a change of pace. So subscribe for more tutorials. Let me know if you want to see anything specific or if you have any questions in the comments below. And I will see you next time.